Welcome. Today we're going to be discussing night vision. So um, I like to watch the critters in our backwoods and my wife got me this one year for my birthday because she um, wanted to be awesome. So night vision is a passive technology. You put your, your eye here and then this end amplifies natural light that's already in the environment. So this is a passive system, night vision itself. Now this passive system can be paired with an active system such as a flashlight. This is an IR infrared flashlight that puts out a, a wavelength of energy that's not visible to the naked eye, but the night vision itself will pick it up. Now we can also pair this with other active technologies, okay? So this is a streamlight flashlight that's IR. So this flashlight is, as you can see, quite the thrower. And this is not visible to the naked eye, but it is visible to night vision. We can also do other cool things. We've got things like little beacons here. So this you throw on top of a nine volt battery. And then this is an IR beacon. Um, so this will actually like blip and you can see it not by the naked eye, but only by night vision. One of the cool things about this too is um, this can go through a couple layers of clothes. So you can toss this in your pocket or toss it in a backpack and it's still visible to uh, the night vision even though it's you know under a couple layers of clothing. All right, so this is a Gen 1 system. Gen 1 original night vision was developed sometime around the Vietnam War and it was very fragile. So this is inherently a couple pieces of glass in here. If you drop it, um, it very well might not be usable any longer. Um, so that's kind of old stuff. If it's under a thousand dollars, chances are it's gen one like this. Uh, it works, but it's got its downfalls. It has no safeties that are inherent in it. So if you turn this on at the wrong time, um, it's going to break it permanently. Gen two was a intermediary step. So you don't really find that on the secondary market. Um, it was an intermediate step to gen three and gen four. Um, gen three and four is the stuff that most people that were in the military probably used in the last 20 years. Um, that has different colors. It's not necessarily green phosphors like the old school ones like these. It might be white. The newest generations are uh, actually color. So full color night vision is the newest stuff the military has. So that's very cool. All right, so let's get into this unit here. Uh, we've got a power button and then another button that turns on this IR flashlight. Very simple. It's got um, two components that you can twist to focus the lenses on the inside, kind of like a binocular. Um, so that in and of itself is kind of annoying because right off the bat, you need like the extra hand to focus it um, if you're looking at things at a different distance. It's not inherently one-handed design. It's supposed to be like you can see how they did these here with the buttons. Um, this here, it has LEDs that tell you when it's on or off, but if I'm outside at night using night vision, I don't want a bright LED giving away my position or you know when you take it out or move it around and have those flashing around to draw attention. So I just covered that up with a piece of tape. All right, let's see if we can get outside and show you some of the night vision. All right, so this is what we're gonna be looking at out in the backwoods. So you can kind of get a view of what you're looking at here. All right, so you can kind of see here. This is with the onboard unit, the onboard IR light. And I'm gonna see if I can turn that off, hold on. Yeah, on and off, you can kind of see that tree, but not really, a little bit there. Okay, so that's the onboard unit. Now I'm gonna use the, um, the separate uh, thrower IR flashlight. Now we're gonna check out the IR beacon and I'm gonna bury it in some leaves. All right, so the night vision's on. I'm gonna turn off the, uh, the light and now you can see, oh, there it is. That's my beacon under the leaves that you cannot see with the naked eye. Okay, so that's the night vision. I'm going to take the night vision away and show you the uh, naked eye and then a flashlight again. Naked eye. Flashlight. Let's go get our beacon. I'm 
pros and cons. This thing is cool if you're just looking to see what's out there at night. Um, obviously, it really takes two hands because you've got to focus on the distance. And then, especially if you're um, foregoing this light, which I usually do, and use the, uh, the separate light because it's way more powerful. And that's how I would recommend pairing an active system with a passive system. Don't use one of these onboard kind of junk lights if you're really going to do it. If I was going to make a recommendation to anybody, I would say if you're going to be navigating or walking with this at all, get a 1X. I got a 2X for um, spying on critters, but I wish I got the 1X because the 2X is more or less useless for actually walking around at night. Um, another con is that even though it's awesome, you can't always see things because they're going to be hidden by other obscuring factors. Um, point in case, one night I was out, I heard some coyotes, and I heard just what sounded like my uh, husky running up to me and panting loudly inside of a bush about 10 to 15 feet away. Now, I am like 99% sure that was one of the coyotes that I was hearing that were howling, but I couldn't actually see them because when I used the night vision and turned it on, all I saw was the bush, despite the fact I could still hear the thing panting because it had run up to me and it was that close. So that's when I decided the night vision is great, but it's still not that great. And that's when and why I ended up moving to um, thermal, which is for another time. This is a FLIR. Um, but this was your introduction to night vision. Um, some of the pros, some of the cons, some of the awesome cool things you can do with it. I do have a buddy that has gone into the um, rabbit hole with this and he's got professional grade entire setup that costs the price of a small car. Um, and I talked to him and one day soon I will hopefully be able to show you that. But this is going to be our introductory primer into night vision. Thank you for watching and we'll get into more cool gadgets soon. Thank you.